What's up guys, welcome back to Unlimited Reads. My name is Chris and today I'm super excited to be talking to you all about the first book in my Agatha Christie reading project where I will be reading all of the Hercule Perot books. So I finished the first book which is The Mysterious Affair at Styles, and going into it I had no idea what to expect. I was pretty green because I hadn't read a single Agatha Christie book in my entire life and considering she was published over a hundred years ago I've been pretty slack but as they say better late than never but the biggest thing about this book was uh, how impressed I was with how it was written. Obviously I know how popular the Perot TV series is starring David Suchet. I haven't seen a full episode I've only caught snippets every now and then so maybe I just need to watch a few episodes including the adaptation for this book to see how it fares against the uh, sort material and ultimately to satisfy my curiosity. So let's go through firstly what the book is about. Published in 1920, this is the first novel featuring the famous detective Hercule Perrault. The story is narrated by Captain Arthur Hastings, a friend of Perrault who is staying at Stiles Court, the home of his friend John Cavendish and his family. Hastings is introduced to the other residents of the house, including John's stepmother, Emily Inglethorpe, and her husband, Alfred. Soon after Hastings' arrival, Emily Inglethorpe is found dead in her bedroom, apparently poisoned. Perrault is called in to investigate the murder, and he begins to examine the scene of the crime and interview the suspects. The clues are very obscure. A shattered coffee cup, a splash of candle grease, a bed of begonias, all Perot needs to display his legendary powers of deduction. There are several potential suspects, including Emily's husband, Alfred, who is in financial trouble and stands to benefit from her death. John, who has a strained relationship with his stepmother and his brother, Lawrence, who is in love with Emily's ward, Cynthia. As Perot delves deeper into the case, he uncovers a complex web of secrets and motives. He discovers that Emily had recently changed her will, leaving her fortune to her husband instead of her sons. He also uncovers a love triangle involving Lawrence, Cynthia and Emily's husband, Alfred. So yeah, the uh, plot is pretty intricate and very complex. And in this novel, there are quite a few characters that I'll list here as well. We've got uh, John Cavendish, Emily's elder stepson from her first husband's previous marriage and brother of Lawrence. We have Mary Cavendish, John's wife and a friend of Dr. Bowerstein. We have Lawrence Cavendish, Emily's younger stepson. We have Evelyn Howard, Emily's companion and a second cousin to Alfred Inglethorpe. Cynthia Murdoch, the daughter of a deceased friend of the family, she's an orphan. Dr. Bowerstein, a well-known toxicologist living not far from Stiles, and Dorcas, a maid at Stiles, loyal to Mrs. Inglethorpe. I'm not going to spoil this and reveal the culprit, but I really enjoyed how Perot laid this very intricate trap and to reveal the killer with only a few clues, and it really kept me guessing right until the end when Perot pulls the proverbial rabbit out of his bowler hat and exposes the killer. And uh, I mean, Agatha Christie pulls off this brilliant twist at the end also where revelations are revealed and the trap is sprung. And it's pretty much perfect. It was just, I, I could, it blew me away because of how intricate and complex the plot was and how she left you guessing at every interval in the book. And then with a final twist at the end, it was just really, really satisfying. So I didn't find the writing really dated considering this one was written in 1920. It flowed really well. And I realized how good David Suchet's performance is in the TV series by how he speaks because the dialogue written in the book is tailor-made for uh, David Suchet. And uh, David Suchet must have done some exhaustive research before taking on the role because he is Perot. I really enjoyed Perot's explanation at the end when he assembles everyone in the library to go over his deductions and reasoning in exposing the killer. And it just really blows your mind with this twist at the end, which is in which is insane. You just don't see it coming. And, uh, you know, overall, absolutely loved it. I've got a taste for Agatha Christie books now. I can't wait to read the second one, which is Murder on the Links. Can't wait to see um, how that murder is solved and uh, really enjoy reading the Perot character, even though he is described as a bit of a dandy in the books. Uh, the language for the time is absolutely fine. It's not... Uh, there's no excess wordage. I think Agatha Christie was really good at her word economy, didn't really waste any words. So uh, yeah, I'm hooked. And uh, I'll be reading Murder on the Links next month because I really wanna keep some momentum going with this project. And I'm glad I started this project because it's 
allowing me to step outside my comfort zone and trying uh, new books that I would never have read otherwise and it's just I'm just having a really good time with it so there you go that is it thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe as always offer up any feedback in the comments below i'll always respond to that now as to what's coming up next on the channel i've got a couple of videos coming the first of which will be my autumn reading plans everything i'm going to be reading over the next three months which is very very exciting and i'll also have for you my spoiler free review of the troop by nick cutter at the time of filming this i'm about halfway through through. So hopefully I will get that out to you towards the end of, end of next week, which is going to be awesome. But tomorrow I have got my second author guest coming onto the channel live for a Q&A. None other than T.M. Logan, one of UK, the UK's best thriller writers. He is dubbed as the master of the up all night thriller. He's talking to me on the channel which uh, he's kindly agreed to and he's a lovely chap and I am on first name basis with him now which is uh, really cool and uh, just can't wait to speak to him so uh, very very exciting stuff happening I'm really starting to um, get a roster of authors happening particularly uh, when I've got Mark Cameron coming on the channel next month so it's all exciting the more authors I get on the channel the more clout I've got asking publishers or publicists uh, for their authors to come on. Just to give you an idea of who I want on the channel uh, eventually, I want Mark Dawson, the author of the John Milton series. I want uh, CJ Tudor. I want Dean Koontz. I have to have Dean Koontz. One day it will happen. Uh, I'll keep bugging his publicist if need be. And I also want to have Chris Carter on, who writes the Detective Robert Hunter series. So if I get all these authors on board, it's going to uh, be very exciting times for the channel. So there you go, guys. Until the next video, I'll see you later.